Okay, it is another beautiful Saturday and we are excited to be back. This is Ladies Lounge right here on Splash 105.5 FM and my name is Tumilara Ademo Timi and the ladies are here looking really peel. So looking, so so looking, say looking, your bushes. looking really say pretty and beautiful. Well, but I didn't say it's Omar's hairstyle for me, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot come and go and drive. An <laughs> African queen of of yeah. of, of the moment. Yes, yeah, so, you. and then your afro you know, too. I mean, yeah, I love it. All actually. African yeah. looks. You don't want to hear the story behind this afro, but thank you. Thank yeah, you. but it's really great to be back on the show. That's mm-hmm. right, the twenty first day uh, in the month of February, and just like that, I love the fact that February is almost you know done yeah. with but welcome to ladies lounge i am ibukun lua or lagunju but you can call me or ma jua well i'm fun i came in my tea and you can hear in february is one of the best oh, months God, you know there's a judge where your salary is to be it to be it to be creeping in Abby. Uh, yes this yeah, salary february week is february yeah it's actually the last saturday in the month of february yes, yes. and we're happy we're actually happy and so salary week guys so much excitement I, 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 I comment my reserve <laughs> I do not reserve you're not saying that people when they collect salary they're happy <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> employers go they all they go all the strong face they look for what you don't do well <laughs> this week is don't talk to me any other week uh-huh. <laughs> exactly <laughs> but you know how we do it on the show we have road talk and deep conversations and today's edition will not be different mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. from Rose today we're talking about the story that I saw online and I you saw Abi, we saw. Let's know what we're doing this time. That we all saw. saw uh, that. Hey, we couldn't have seen it at the same time. That's what we're doing. A story that we all saw online, and then I felt like, oh, this would be really nice for us to, you know, talk about mm-hmm. it. Now, you went out with your friend. I don't want to read everything, but I'll just go through it. So you went out with your close friend, and you guys ordered a drink. But before they brought the drink, you had to go outside to make a call. Mm. Now, by the time you got back, your friend already opened the drink. So as the person who they opened the drink before they came, you now decided to reorder the drink like, ah, this one, I can't drink it. I'll order another one. So now, because you did that, the friend that opened your drink before you came now felt really embarrassed. And then when they got home, they didn't even let you talk about it. The next thing they did was to block you because they felt bad. Now, they ordered you a drink, but they opened it before you came. Got there. And then you reordered hmm. another, you ordered another drink and then they got home and blocked you. So do you think it's a bad thing that you ordered another drink? Do you think it's a bad thing that they blocked you? <laughs> do you think it's a bad thing that they opened your drink before you came back from the call you went to make? So, okay. what do you guys think about so that? First and in case you're listening, mm, yes. um, one of the top things that made us decide to bring this to the fore is trust in friendship. Yeah. So, you about to say something. I was going to say, first of all, for this um episode, just call it Men's Lounge. Because yes, so... <laughs> we are always um, yeah. mostly on this table. Yes. But today, it's for the ladies. Mm-hmm. And let's just think about it. For mm-hmm. me, uh, there are two things. There are people that they cannot, whether it's trust issue or not, mm-hmm. they're just finicky about things. Mm-hmm. So they cannot just take any drink that has been opened, you know, um, in their absence. Mm-hmm. But if they were close friends as this person claims, then this person should have known that, ah, Flakemi wouldn't take a drink that anybody opens in her absence. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I feel that if you look at it in that way, we might want to probably just say well maybe but that part of blocking i'm not getting it mm. i think there should be an understanding if um really their friends okay. for me there, there are a lot of poking issues right and i would just like to just pick them as soon as i can remember mm. each one of them and the first one i can remember right now is what's the degree of their friendship mm-hmm. what at what level uh, are they at and and is are they female and female or is it male and female? I think mm-hmm. in this and case then, it's female, female, mm. female, female. Yeah. And then another issue for me would be how the situation was handled when the lady that went to the restroom actually came back. Mm. Was she so upfront about it? Was she so loud about? It? How did she handle the fact that she wasn't going to take that drink? She could have handled it in a way that would not be so like the lady said, embarrassing. Maybe. Mm. Not even pointed out that I'm not going to take it. Maybe just say, ah, and this this drink is no longer cold. Mm. Or just something that will not make that person feel like, you know what, I think you must have put something inside the drink. So how the person handled it is definitely another issue for me. But the first one that I touched on, whether we like it or not, the society and the age that we're in right now has made everybody 
become so paranoid in different instances we've seen friends that poison friends we've seen friends that lure friends into the houses of other of other men okay. maybe because you guys are out dangerous you them. get put something in the drink and then before you know it the lady found herself where she probably does not even want to be mm-hmm. so that there, there are different instances that could have made that person say that you know what i'm not going to take this drink and like i said the first one would be what's the degree of their friendship mm-hmm. But then going out with somebody to have a drink, though. <laughs> okay. You know, for, for me, when mm. I saw this particular post, I feel like it speaks to a lot of things. It speaks mm. to boundaries. It speaks to trust as well. Because boundaries? I, as yes, in... boundaries. As in, if you have a friend that you claim they are your friend, there are certain things you know they will never take. So I would believe that if you're hanging out with someone who does not like their drink, to not be open where they are. You would know to not open it, even if you feel like it will help them. Because you know that sometimes when waiters bring drinks, they always drop it and leave. So maybe that might be the reason that one feel like, ah, let them open it for her. So before, before you use 10 years, before you use 10 years to call one come person, out, you know, to get it. open. But if you know that this person has boundaries, mm-hmm. you would know not to open their drinks when they are not there. But, another but instance, it also speaks... But another instance would be, you're talking about knowing your friends and mm. how they operate when you guys go out. What, mm. You know, something must have happened that will make you learn certain things about your friend. What if that's the first instance? Of that? I, I, I'm that. also thinking, maybe she's from some background or she's experienced something or maybe during the course of the week they are told her that ah oh mommy hmm. wow i'm careful in wiki where's the you don't drink it and all of that you know that. when i saw this story actually what came to mind is i feel like if you know that there are things you can't handle or deal with maybe you don't go out how do i explain this now if you know that you don't trust someone that much mm. or you be guarded around them. Mm. I think I made reference to, if I can't pick my call where you are, I can't leave my phone, maybe my WhatsApp open and just say, well, I they come hold my phone. I don't think that I'll be that comfortable to go out with you. So if you are that guarded, then don't go out. I don't, I don't, I don't, time, I don't think it's being guarded be because see, I don't think it's even being guarded. I feel like there, my, there, are times where, guarded. there are times where the person in the house, the person I trust the most mm-hmm. in this world is my mother. Mm-hmm. And my mother is in the house and I just don't want to open my phone down and leave my phone there. And I don't want to do... Mothers. No, I'm not, not even the African context yeah. now. I'm giving you like somebody that I trust the most now. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's not even about you being guarded. It's not even because you do not trust that person. There are just some things that you do not want some people to see. There are just some things that you do not want some people to do. Not mm-hmm. because you do not trust them, but you just don't want that and in the dynamic that... of the relationship. I also think that we might... I'm just trying to excuse this person that mm-hmm. refused to take the drink. Yeah. I think that being paranoid is a, a state of mental health. Mm-hmm. You understand? This person might be dealing with something personally mm-hmm. that he or she, she might not even be able to explain. So this is it. Mm-hmm. You know? I, I, When it comes to maybe mental health and stuff like that, I think I understand that. And I talked about... I also thought about the fact that it could be based on past experiences. So if you've had to maybe deal with betrayal in the past, trust mm-hmm. me, no matter how healed you think you are, mm. you might be a little guarded. Though guarded might be relative now. It might mean that you're just paranoid, you're not talking to anybody. But mm. it might also mean that you're extra careful what happens to you. And trust me, we've seen stories online that roommates poison the other roommate and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So even if you're not mental, like even if it's not psychological or mental for you, I don't think there's, there's crime in being cautious. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm saying that. For someone like me, I might have communicated that to a friend of mine. So, ah, did you see the story that was trending? Almost these days, a person guys they careful. This is that, or such that, if I ever go out with you and they bring my drink to you, you will not even think to open it because opening a drink is one angle. Another angle would be that you all got maybe juice, and then you left yours in the cup and they stepped out. Would you come back and pour it away? No, m- m- most m- people like that do not leave their drink before going, and they make sure that they finish what is in the cup before they stand up and mm. go. But the most outstanding part for me is how the other friend actually handled the situation. She the one that blocked. The one that blocked. Let's say, for instance, you felt offended, mm-hmm. you felt embarrassed. Maybe it's even you that even paid, your money was wasted <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Why would you undo the situation in such a way when it comes to somebody that you regard as your friend? You see, as your friend, you see, rather. You really cannot blame anybody for mm. handling a situation the way they do. I want it is to toxic. Say, what, what I want to it is say. toxic. You don't just you don't just yank people I, off. You don't just block people I, I, without I think, having a conversation in have, a friendship. What I would have exactly like you would have actually um started up a conversation 
if that friendship really means something to even you, if you need to rage you even if you need to shout talk about it e- exactly so, e- except you guys are not friends friends eh? and i also think that it's important for us to mind the use of our um of of our words when describing our relationship with people you know maybe somebody is your acquaintance mm. somebody is your close friend platonic friends let's just be guarded when we are trying to say this person is my friend this is my friend mm-hmm. no it doesn't really work that like that for me mm-hmm. so yeah, yeah so the part of being blocked and then handling the issue so this is it first is you cannot exactly define how people react to situations that's one so two mean, is mm, I understand mm, mm, now, two is that if you claim that someone is your friend mm-hmm. and then they have done something really mm-hmm. wrong to mm-hmm. you and you did not think to reach out to them mm-hmm. to express yourself, mm-hmm. then there's a problem. So it would be different if you told them that, oh, why would you do that? I really felt bad. Because mm-hmm. some, okay, so someone gave me an instance while we're having this conversation. So she told me that she gave, no, Taylor, a Taylor gave her a friend's clothes, but not a friend, a colleague's clothes. But they would say they are friends, right? And then the lady told somebody else that she won't ever wear that clothes because in her mind of mind, she felt like maybe this person just the clothes. So she said she was not going to be it. So I was like, if you know that you would be so uncomfortable, why would you allow your tailor drop your clothes for with that, that person? person? See, this in thing. The first place. And I, I, I always say that if you have boundaries, it's simple. Having boundaries can make people do two things to you. They either hate you that you have those boundaries or they respect those boundaries. But one way or the other, they are aware that your boundaries exist. So tell this person that my clothes has to touch my hand. There are people like that. And it does not, I'm serious. Yeah, my drop has me for anybody. Yeah. What's yeah. up, cause I'm like that. You're back there. You're back there. Yeah, yeah. Are you a guru? You're back there. Shout out. No, it's true. Yeah. So you will be the. Let make sure that if I, I mean I think I've told somebody that I dated in school that if you want to buy me something that we eat, make sure it touches my hand. Don't yeah. send anybody to no, me. Don't send my. Don't picture. send them. Baby, baby, my first surprise there. Buy me that. If you're giving me something, I'm going to take in. Do not give anybody. So I feel like it's simple to communicate these things. And so but the, people the, would the, much the, rather do the passive or yakoma or emin. Yeah. Which is not the yeah. case. Yeah. I, I was actually going to go there because whether we like it or not, the, the fr- friendship develops. Mm. Friendship is not so and and I think that's what a lot of people do not learn. The fact that I meet you today does not mean that we're friends. There has you, you must have gotten to a certain level. Friendship is earned. There, there's there are quite a number of things that we must have shared. That will make us graduate to a certain level of our friendship, which still brings me to the toxic way that person handled that relationship. Mm. It comes back to communication. Because whether you like it or not, the fact that you feel like you didn't do anything wrong does not mean that I feel you didn't do anything wrong. Mm. And you would only know what I found wrong in that instance when if we communicate. Me. It will not happen again and we'll become better friends when we communicate and when we find a common ground to actually make it work. Which, which brings me to people have to understand that. Whether or not um something sits down well with me, I have to respect when that person that I regard as, as my friend, friend is saying that it does not sit down with him or her. Now, there's a place of explaining my own side. There's a place of you explaining your own side and we finding a common ground as friends. And that's why I started with, it depends on the degree of their friendship. Maybe one person is feeling like this person is my friend and that person yeah, that just feels like, a acquaintance knew we're not that deep, so mm-hmm. I cannot really trust you with a drink, among other things. So people have to really understand themselves, basically. And I think there's a place of maybe track record or something. So maybe, and like you said... As friendship grows, okay, friendship grows. But uh, another thing to know is that as friendship grows, mm-hmm. friendship also loses that value. Mm-hmm. You can meet somebody and you gel and they're friends with you. Mm-hmm. And then you can realize that mm, maybe, maybe not. You're not very sure. And things just, you know, die naturally, yeah. which is okay. But the most important thing that I would say is that if you'll be that sensitive, because mm-hmm. I mean, I left my cup here stepped out, I came back and I took my drink because I don't feel like there's anyone around here that will say, ah, no, you. you. But if I know that, deep, deep down, ah, somebody in this room might do something to hurt me, I won't drop it. Mm -hmm. Or I will not even say, I will enter this room. Mm -hmm. So it's simple. If you have boundaries, if you have rules, Mm -hmm. if you have certain things, you will not take. For all I care, for this particular lady, she Mm -hmm. she might have even done it unconsciously. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Or subconsciously. She opened the drink or ordered another one. Mm -hmm. No, she ordered, it's not like maybe she did not take it or she ordered another one. You know, there's a place of, "Mm, I'm tired. Let's just go home. That's why Oma said that there are ways you handle things. 
So if you know that you're already uncomfortable, there are ways you say, mm, uh, maybe it's no, it's no longer cold. I mean, yeah, I don't, maybe I don't want this anywhere. brand anymore. I don't feel like so, taking exactly. it anymore. Exactly. I really this particular drink I don't mm. want to take it and I say oh Oma it's not about you mm. this particular drink I'm I not just don't want to take mm. it I mean for some reason there are some factory errors now there are some mm-hmm. production errors mm. so your spirits well could have told you that this one is got it's as, not, as, yeah. you know mm-hmm. instead of having to mm-hmm. directly hurt that person you're sharing your table mm-hmm. with yeah and, and I, we are using this drink as an analogy for quite a number I, of I, things I, I talk about clothes yeah too. In, in your relationship in your dynamic of whatever because there are instances where some people feel Feel like oh i am so close to mighty mighty is my best friend so maybe i'm trying to reach reach mighty all day and maybe her number is not going through mm. or i went to a house she wasn't there mm. and i feel like you know what how about i call her mother and be like ah mom see how far she mm. marry mighty but you feel like you shouldn't have called, called my mother my we are not that close you do not have the right to call my mother to be asking my mother where i am or even call the husband of mine or 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 call the husband and the friends, friends feel like we do not have the right. We do not, we not gotten to that level. I have an instance, so but people you know, have to. I'm going to just only to me. <laughs> okay, no, say it to. Uh, yeah. no, we don't have the time to do it. so long. Yeah. Actually, but, yeah. so yeah. basically, people have to understand the degree and the, the level, the, the rights that they have in whatever relationship. And not just assume your position in people's life. People and not like, overrate it. Too. Do you understand? Don't overrate yourself. Don't overrate your existence. But really, so I was talking about track record. You might feel like, so, so you know, somebody, somebody, I, I, because I, I had the conversation with somebody, so she was telling me that, what if it is that maybe the friend has been doing something or had been doing something before that instance mm-hmm. that made that one feel like, hey, maybe whenever you talk to this person about your wins they're not usually excited for you maybe you've seen that maybe they usually sabotage you they could have been doing things that will make you or feel the like person ah, may have even heard person... what that person has done to another person and that's probably uh-huh. not even told the person I, about I think, it I think I talked about that too yeah. if you know that somebody is known for something mm-hmm. and then they've told you that ah kene 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 kofun you know that kind of thing mm-hmm. one way or the other it gets to you mm-hmm. before you even before you, you ask you will not even expect from it. it. Yeah. So if you now know that those things they are telling you they are doing to other people, you mm-hmm. can't take it. It's fine if you feel like, you know what? I'm not free to hang out today. Let's do it another time. So that's why I would say that if you know that you cannot handle these things, people don't go out. Because imagine I call you don't with my me, money. Don't tell me. No. Don't tell me not to go out. I feel like going out. And I feel like maybe you are the fun person. You being a fun person, and I feel like hanging out with you does not mean that you're my best friend. That does not mean that you open drink and I must drink the drink. And that then you open. maybe you should have the said, that... do not bring my drink <laughs> when I return. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, because, yeah. For some reason, this person yeah. might actually be the bad person. It's, that not, you're it's not everybody that you hang out with that you're party party or bestie bestie with. Mm. Guys do these things as well. Ah, a, a, real, a real OG thing. will not stand up and leave his drink open yeah, and come back to come actually, and drink it. Yes. It's not possible. Except he knows that this person is my person. Do you get? Yes. So yeah, I feel like blocking was not the right thing, but it also speaks to the person's track record. So mm-hmm. if every other time they have issues, that one is always acting up or doing something really strange. Mm-hmm. You might just feel like, well, this one is the last straw mm-hmm. that we break this camel's back yeah, and we're done with this friendship. If you level. can do this much, mm-hmm. so maybe we were very and, close. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, I feel like we're very close. Mm-hmm. And then you now ordered another drink, mm-hmm. and then you now said, "Hey, I can't take it because you opened it." Mm-hmm. Then I might just feel like, and we're people done. have to. So stop. that blocking might not be a problem. People have to stop, stop bleeding on people that did not cut them. If I do not break your heart, please don't break. Me. Why would you just block somebody because the person ordered another drink? I know. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying. Person. To... Why? Like, can I? I'm I order sure. drink. No, it all depends. I order drink like for you. Said. I open it it's before all, you come. It all depends on the kind of friendship that we share. Mm. You understand? For instance, let me see. In the first place, I don't know if I'm cool enough to go out with you mm-hmm. to take a drink with you. Then I'll be able to leave. Then, That's so what I was saying. If, oh. if you kill so me, is everybody? 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 Is you want to step out to take a call. So if it's a business meeting, of course, that maybe that person now, not be your friend. Mm, do you uh-huh, get uh-huh, that? There are different it. instances. If it's a business meeting, mm-hmm. uh-uh, how on earth will you, a business partner, open my drink? Uh-uh. But no, 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 uh, no, no, no. We're saying we're saying we're using all of this. So as, no, I'm saying wait, that. We're saying we're using all of these as mm. a touch to other dynamics, mm-hmm. right? For instance, we we'll go for a business meeting. Mm. You know how these people take ten years sometimes to bring your order. Yeah. You ordered for a drink. Maybe you order out this um these drinks that they have to mix. You know all these open mm. drinks that they put the straw and everything. And then maybe in the process of waiting for your order, you had a call. Mm. So you're like, oh, okay, excuse me, I'm to take this call mm. before you come back. 
that person has already brought your drink Jeez. and it's already placed down and then you come back because it's already open before you come mm -hmm. you're like oh okay i cannot take this drink anymore that does not mean that you guys are best 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 of and friends that or person whatever. will not block you because they understand that oh this Happened Which brings me to stop bleeding on people that did not hurt you. If you feel like you didn't like that particular instance, you the fact that your friend or that person had to order another drink and that kind of stood out for you, communicate that to that person. Hear that person me. out. Don't just and assume. you still want that friendship, it's good to say that. You know, um, I really don't appreciate that people open my drinks. Uh -huh, yes. You know, while I'm not. For some reason, how you that person will don't block you? I know. No, I'm just saying that before that. they block. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never to reorder. No, you would have just said that. You know, for some reason, yeah. the way I was brought up, or my kind I, of person, and mm. for some reason, so, I'm not just going comfortable. to like, like some at some point in my life, mm. I couldn't eat in the same place with, people. with someone mm. that with anybody, mm -hmm. no matter who you are, mm. maybe even my parents. Mm -hmm. You understand? So once you dip your hand into my food. I'm done with that food. Mm. You understand? It's not anything. I just, I, you know, so in fact, there was a time, God rest it. So one big uncle of mine, I was eating and I said, ah, it's you, Ray. He just did. I said, Emma falls me in Jeremy. Just did this and just picked it and all. And I just left the food. And, yeah. And yes, I didn't take it. Hungry. And every, yeah. I was very hungry. If mm. I'm hurting right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. someone yeah. said, someone just said, I feel like you'll like it. I feel like you'll like it. Mm. You know, like two, three people said it. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. And they knew that. That I did, people but I know if such. you communicated. And also being attentive to people that you regard as your friend. Understand their nature. Somebody that has studied you and understand and understood we'll be able you. To say, ah, you know no, that, that is how you are. So it's like not because you have any grudge against the person in question. That's another place I'm going. For mm -hmm. somebody to block you because you ordered another drink, there must be an underlying. There's a place of you don't even know this person you call your friend at all. Oh, you just have the label. Oh, eh, hey. yes, oh you're assuming too much. Mm -hmm. Some people assume too much about the person that they have around, that kind of and that mm -hmm. would be the reason you say. So you did this. It means you're not this anymore. So you did this. It means I will cut you off and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So there's a place of communicating and conversing. And if you cannot mm -hmm. find other ways to show that you will not take the drink. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. We have to go, but the show returns next week, like you know. And don't forget that this video will be up on Facebook at Splash FM 1055. I think I will say that. Um, and also, YouTube, please like, share, comment. Yes. And yes, we actually want to. I want to hear your opinion. We always yeah. love to read your opinion. You need to see. If I'm actually going way, out of comments last week, yeah. exactly. We would have loved to review, but mm. trust us, we're just going to, um, you know, reply under your comments so mm. you know what we feel about you. Yes. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. My name is Oluwatu Milara Ademo Jimmy. Thank you too. And if you... Oh God. I guess I'm, I'm just going to wrap up by saying that uh, be attentive to people that you regard as your friend. Know your place in their life and actually act accordingly. I second an Omar Jewa. My name is Falakebi Maite. I am Omar Jewa. <laughs>